I want to chat now about Rob Liefeld. Oh, Rob Liefeld. You, were you guys confused what Rob I was going to talk no, about? There's no other Rob to talk apparently about. The, yeah, really apparently the yeah, Kurt right? Cobain of comics. I don't, where is it? Coming I don't from? know. He posted that on his Instagram. There was a YouTuber. Wait, wait, he said? There was, hey, I'll show you. But there's a, there was a YouTuber who made a video about the history of like Rob Liefeld and comic books and what have uh. you. And he, the, the thumbnail was the Kirk, that Rob Liefeld is the Kurt Cobain of comics. And Rob Liefeld had to repost that. And he's like, I'll take it. I so, think it's probably he... because it's the closest thing to a compliment that Rob's gotten, you know. That <laughs> oh, gosh. He... Okay, well, all right. So, Rob, I just, I want to like Rob so bad. Do you? I do. I kind of do. I want to like, because here's the thing. Because Rob has so many things going for him. Like, I know there's a lot of things we can pick apart. We can talk about feet, and we can talk about Captain America in, yeah. the, in the bust. But that's like, it's silly. And the real thing is comic book collectors and like people who are really into this community, like you can complain about a lot of people's art. Like there's everybody. Mignola has done some pretty questionable stuff and he's my favorite artist, you know? Like it's, it's, it's something that we put aside. Like we joke, but we put it aside. Rob is not helping his brand. And we talk about him, I mean, I want to say often. And by brand, you mean him, his persona. Yeah, him, his persona, his work. His legacy. Yeah. Legacy is. Legacy That's a good way to put it. Probably a legacy, better way to put it. Yeah, I'd say legacy is a good way to put it because he is somewhat inflammatory on you know pretty much in a lot of different places that he pops up. He and, shouldn't be on Twitter. There's so okay for real. For there are what? people in this community and in general in the world who should stick to certain social media platforms. Not everybody should be on Twitter. Right. Stick to Instagram. Post pictures. Do some videos on you know on Instagram Live. You know, some people literally spend too much time on Twitter. Rob spends too much time on Twitter. And you may go, He's how do you impressive. know? How do you know, Tom, that Rob spends too much time on Twitter? You go to his Twitter and you literally, I was trying to find tweets tonight about this segment. How long did it take me to find his tweet? A half wow. hour? Yeah, because there was a lot of... I was scrolling, scrolling. This guy literally just lives. a lot of activities between then and now. Lives on Twitter. Yeah. And it's like, dude, get off Twitter. It's going to be okay. You're not helping anything anybody here so anyways i want to chat about this because there's new labels that cgc has mm -hmm. i'm stoked i like new labels i like the, the new pedigree label that came out i'm like hell yeah let's start talking about pedigrees let's get people into pedigrees long overdue new cgc labels add in some spice you know throwing deadpool on the label and it's witty it's like deadpool breaking the fourth wall he's asking for a 9.9 .9. when was the last time you saw a 9 .9. superhero character trying to like have fun with the collector's community requesting a grade on a comic yeah, book. Never. 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 I mean, this is awesome. Point. But what's the problem with Rob now? Well, the problem is, is that as soon as Rob saw that there was a Deadpool label, he immediately posted that he will not be signing any of the labels. What? No. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, here's the first thing. Why? Why what? won't he sign them? Okay, so he won't sign them because... Deadpool's on the label. He created Deadpool, and I'm assuming he's not getting a cut for Deadpool being on the label. It's a weird thing, but here's the... It, it, what's even stranger than that explanation, which he never actually gave, he just straight up said he will have nothing to do with this, is that he said he wouldn't sign the label, which doesn't actually make sense because the label happens after the signature. So if anything, it's kind of just showing his you know, naivete. Yeah, I don't understand. I mean, the book gets encapsulated after it's signed, and so I could get something signed by Rob, and then it gets sent to CGC. He doesn't have any, unless he's, you know, in the mailroom in disguise, like just erasing his, you know, erasing his signature. This is just where it gets more just... Rob being Rob. Yeah, maybe it's like he, another he's Rob just, I won't. He's <laughs> full of I won't. Okay? <laughs> I won't sign for CGC. A year later, he's praising CGC on YouTube. Okay? And now again, we're not working with CGC. Like, I will not sign this book. I will not sign that book. I won't, I won't, I won't. So when he, when someone posts things like this on the internet, like some people are like, ah, he's just he's just complaining. Let him complain. Well, here's the thing. You type in like Rob Liefeld on Google. And you don't see a, you don't see very many good things. You look up Ride Liefeld CGC, 
and you see his complaints about these types of situations. But what's fun is that Google highlights the most sourced and like active comments that are on the internet and places it right on the homepage. So Rob thinks that he's actually doing his legacy. We'll just continue saying legacy because we can poke and, and talk about whatever, but let's just say his legacy. He thinks he's doing something good for his legacy. But here are just like the most featured comments right underneath his tweet. I don't understand how he can control this as encapsulation happens after the fact. Gossip. It's okay. like that's like I wrote that because I just the said the first that. thing a comic book collector would say is like, "What are you saying?" So that's just the first thing. How about the second thing? Huh. Always something with this guy. This is on Google. This is like Rob said something. This is all you see. There's always something with this guy. So, uh, here's the next one. I'm literally this is the third one. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not skipping any. Some creators need to get a grip. And stop with the gripe. Ooh! Right? They just Another? threw an E on the end of that grip. I know. Big gripe. So it's just like... It's gripping. Grip it's gripe. <laughs> so uh, if he doesn't want to participate in signatures, you know what? He's not the only person in the past who's gone on record to say this. One of the first videos I made on this channel was talking about Jim Starlin. And now he had his gripes about CGC too, which they were all nonsense as well. But it sounds like maybe he got a grip because we haven't heard of that in a while. Oh, he's back signing things for CGC like it's nothing. Look, Rob, Rob has been around f since the late 80s, and he, he pretty much grew up, in a sense, in comic books. And think about it. He's faced a lot of scrutiny and criticism throughout a, a very long career. In his I, mean, I don't think he's stopped working. I don't think he has, has he? He's always been creating, even, you know, there's been some lulls where maybe he did less, but the bottom line is he has probably heard it all, and he's let it deflect off of him, and I don't really think that there's that sense of, should I not say this? Am I saying this right? Should I? It's just Rob, and it's, and it's almost kind of fun to have somebody like that in this this hobby because you got to have excitement like the punchline thing is exciting you know some rob stuff bubbling up it's exciting it's it's you need stuff that's continually new to talk about and comic books are stories written art but it's also a community of creators and fans and it, th there's no mistaking that both are very interesting in their own ways yeah like i think it's maybe entertaining but it's entertaining in a negative way for me. I'm watching this guy just say things that are just stupid. <laughs> just plain stupid. Yeah. And you look at him and he, and he says these things and it seems like just a train wreck. Okay? And it's the, somebody who doesn't quite have the correct perspective of what the industry is, should be, and how to function in it. Okay? And so that's the problem. Maybe it's, like I said, like you like you were saying, it's it's... You know, um, what did you call it? I called it entertainment. You called it um, monkey business. Yeah, I'm trying to reuse the adjective you had. But like I said, it's it's entertaining, but I feel bad, and I don't think I don't think it's a good thing. I really don't. And For his he legacy. needs to figure it out. And his legacy. Look, I like you said, Rob. I grew up with the comics and the design of the image, okay? <laughs> I get it. And for somebody who really kind of took off in, uh, with image publishing, he's not really caring about his image much. <laughs> oh. Okay? So I would wish that someone can start editing him, whether it's a publicist or what. Yeah. But he's way too impulsive. I was going to say that. This guy okay? needs... A P, uh, he needs a PR person. He needs to be sending his tweets to someone else to tweet it for him. And that may sound funny, like who does that? Yeah, a lot of celebrities do that. Like there's a ton. A lot of comedians do that too. They send their stuff to somebody and then they go, all right, is this something we want to put out to the world? And sometimes it just takes that one extra step for them to realize, you know what? Maybe this isn't worth it. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe Rob just hired a really bad uh, tweet checker. You know? well, <laughs> no, well, the fact that he goes live and just starts that's rattling, uh, you know, just starts going you know, off I, on the industry, he doesn't have any PR help. He's just he, doing yeah, what he does. He gets a free pass. You know, I mean, he's been around forever. He does his thing. He has his stalwart fans that are always 
going to be his fans. It doesn't matter what happens. It doesn't matter. So, and it's, he gets a free pass. If he were different, if he were, you know, not creating waves, I don't know how much interest there would be in seeing more of of him. And not and not saying because his art is is bad or it has gotten you know has gotten bad, but I I think that people like the the personality, the history of Rob, the spirit of Rob. And his art, and I think that it's all sort of one package. So, comic fam, in the comments, I'm gonna do. I'm just doing. Do it. Time. Do it. Do you think Rob gets a free pass, or do you think Rob should be reined in? Ooh, I am pumped to go through that comment section to see what the community has to say. I just want him to be. I, I want him real dead. Rain in a minute. him in. Just bring him in. Get that lasso, Rob. Help come him out. Come on, Rob. Bring him come in. on. Yeah, you I mean, gotta get out. Just be quiet, right? Everybody, uh, let's give Rob a hug. Yeah, well, just draw just... Deadpool on a balloon, all right? I don't know if you've ever been to a convention, but Rob sells balloons. He draws the Deadpool eyes on it, and there you go. You get you get a balloon, a Deadpool. Like a I sketch, think. a sketch of a balloon. Yeah, he no. doesn't bring. He brings balloons. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know oh, that. I'm just I kidding, man. Oh, <laughs> oh, no, both. Oh, he'll do it. No, no, I'm thinking like, no, no, I'm just kidding. I'm like, he's not. selling balloons. But that's a good idea. Right? Can you imagine a bunch of people walking around with Deadpool balloons? balloons? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. 